How's it going guys and girls, this is Mustard here bringing you a quick video on the mix-ups that Shinnok gets in the imposter variation from his Mimic attack. I get a lot of questions whenever people watch us play, whenever people see us on livestream or anything like that, they always want to know what does the Mimic do, what are my options as the Shinnok player, how do I defend against this, so on and so on. So basically Shinnok has a two-way mix-up off of any Mimic. It will be, will I go for the throw? Or will I go for a string? The reason this is a mix-up is because at any point during that mimic, you can block an attack. So if I was to do a string, you can block it. Which also means that any hit will actually reset properly. So nothing will combo from this as well. So if I was to get this, I can then combo from it legit. I've got your attack. I then do that and then put you straight back into the mimic again. So the question is, end every touch you can in the mimic and then put them in this two-way mix-up. Because during that trance-like state, they can block and they can also tech throws. But because Shinnok gets a, a uh, damage bonus for 10 seconds after any mimic, my 12% throw will always become 16% if I do it off the raw mimic. So you can potentially add 16% damage to any touch. Let's say I catch a, like, a max range 4-2, I hit confirm the full string into the mimic, go in for the throw, my 12% now becomes 28%. As soon as they start trying to tech throws, that is where you start going for the strings. If he's pressing buttons to tech a throw, that's where I do a string. Because if he's, teching, if he's pressing buttons, he's not going to be teching a throw because you just can't do that in this game. You can't tech throws and block at the same time, which is why that becomes a mix-up. Something Shinnok players will do is, off of a trance, they'll go for the back three into a special, which is his low. I don't like doing this because Shinnok has no standing overheads, so doing a low is just as has just as high of a chance of catching him out as if you were doing a normal attack because his only standing overhead is the last hit of his 1-1-2-3 string. The last hit is the only overhead he has on the ground. Which leads me into my final point. You can potentially try and force a third way mix up in this using your tricky pull which you get in the imposter variation. If I do a raw neutral jump from the Mimic, that is never going to hit anyone because I can only ever attack in the, like, from the air after the Tricky Portal, which is going to make him block high because it's obviously an overhead. Like, no one is going to get hit by that because it's obvious to see coming. So you force the block with the jump kick, like so. And then once you've done that, you then have another opportunity to get a slightly more unsafe mix-up, but you force a jump kick block into a Tricky Portal, in which case you can do something tricky like this. He's going to block the jump kick and try and block high which is when I land and then throw, or I land and then go into the low and do stuff like that really. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding of how to do this now. I mean if you get a, a good few reps of this, like off a standing forward, uh, forward 2 2 four, get a throw, that does a lot of damage, or you do the opposite, like a standing forward 2 2 four, it's a mimic, I do it one more time. Let's say he's taking the throw, I do a string, hits him that time, get him in the full rep of a combo, get him in the mimic again, this time he blocks, so I throw. So that was off of a single standing string. I've got close to about just over 60% damage off of a standing string for like one or two bars of meter for each time. So you can really add up the damage very quickly. I would definitely recommend learning how to block against this because this is very much the fundamentals of what you do when you play Imposter Shinnok. So if you can really learn this mix up and how to defend against it, then you'll have a much easier time of dealing with the character as a whole. So hopefully you guys learned a bit from that. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content. We'll be kickstarting our tutorial series very soon. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Thanks very much. See you later.